Hey guys, Toba Loco here, and today we're back with another one star World Cup. This time, as requested by so many people, we're going to do it as Serbia. Um, Serbia, of course, qualified for the World Cup this year. I'm excited to see what they can do in the World Cup. Um, as I said in previous episodes, we're only going to do um, the qualified nations for now, and then maybe after the World Cup, we'll do a couple more you know, requests, you know, if they're voted up more. Do you know what I mean in the comments section? But yeah, I saw Serbia, it got like five likes, so obviously, like, that that has to be next. We're going from, sort of, South America, from Peru's victory, to Serbia. Let's see if Serbia can win the World Cup against one-star nations. What group are they in? They're in a group with San Marino, US Virgin Islands, and Tonga. I don't think I've ever been against the US Virgin Islands or Tonga, so this will be very interesting. Okay, so... Obviously, like like I already know from like thousands of comments that these are the 2014 uh, ratings. I know that, but this is a bit of fun and doesn't really concern the World Cup in June. The only reason I put the World Cup is for the tag. <laughs> I know, I'm a filthy YouTuber, don't worry. Um, okay, so Serbia versus San Marino is their first match. Serbia cannot um, slip up against San Marino. They are arguably one of the worst nations in the world. Um, sorry to any San Marino people out there. I top, um, well, a fact for you, I actually used to own a San Marino shirt and it was like, it was actually really nice. It's a nicely made shirt, but I don't have it anymore because it's too small for me. But I used to love collecting international football shirts from all over the globe. Let's see if San Marino can stop Serbia on the first match. I highly doubt it. I didn't actually get to see what kind of result. Oh, okay, so they squeezed by. San Marino did score a goal, though. I, It's not uncommon for San Marino to score goals. Um, they have scored against England and people like that, but they just never close out games. So it's very fluky, actually. That's um, Well, yeah, I've seen... When I say not uncommon... I mean, like, it happens, like, at least once every World Cup campaign, they'll grab a goal. But, yeah, they've scored against some big boys, and England is one of them. And they just done it against Serbia as well. And I sound like I'm, like, basically, like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Serbia versus U.S. Virgin Islands. Can Serbia beat the U.S. Virgin Islands? Um, always use the U.S. Virgin Islands to replace USA. I kind of feel U.S. Virgin Islands kind of represents USA in this, a smaller version of USA. Let's see. Oh, bloody hell. A uh, 6-0 <laughs> victory. That was very English, by the way, that bloody hell there. But, um, yeah, 6-0. Um, I've yet to see anybody smash someone like 8-0 or 10-0. I think the game's limit seems to be 6. Um, okay, so the next match, Serbia are basically already through. They're against Tonga. Can Serbia beat Tonga? We'll just simulate up to it. Or can Tonga upset Serbia in their last group stage match? Okay. No, not really. It was a 3-1 victory to Serbia. I think Serbia are going to go through and win this. I potentially think so. They're a four-star team. So, yes, a very good nation indeed. Um, let's just have a look at the groups just to see what we're up against. With Serbia, okay, so Group A, Comoros and Luxembourg go through, Bangladesh and STP for Group B. Uh, group C, St. Vincent and Vanuatu, St. Vincent always go through because they're very strong Caribbean side. Group D, Malta and St. Lucia. Uh, Malta, again, one of the biggest sides in this competition. Um, group E, Serbia and San Marino, of all people, go through. Um, India and Liechtenstein for Group F. Uh, group G, uh, Grenada and Gambia go through the two Gs, G, G. Um, group H, Faroe Islands and Hong Kong. So this sits up, sets up, sorry, a uh, scenario in the round of 16. Comoros versus STP. Uh, St. Vincent versus St. Lucia. The Battle of the Saints. Um, Bangladesh versus Luxembourg. Uh, Malta versus Vanuatu. Serbia versus Liechtenstein. That'll be a good match. Uh, 
Grenada versus Hong Kong, India versus San Marino, and Faroe Island versus Gambia. So this would be very interesting. We'll come back to that training, um, that training, that um, table even when we finished. I've noticed no top goal scorers from Serbia on there. That might change though if Serbia advance. Okay, so Serbia have got the little nation of Liechtenstein. Can Liechtenstein stop Serbia or will Serbia advance to the quarterfinals? I think they did advance to the quarterfinals. Uh, yeah, convincing win, a 3 0 victory. Uh, Serbia have now got Grenada, or Grenada, however you want to say it. Um, quarterfinals, Caribbean nation versus a European nation. Can Grenada stop? Serbia. Okay, they didn't. It was only a 2 0, so slightly less convincing, but it's okay, Serbia. You're in the semi finals, um, which is against Comoros. Um, we haven't really truly seen too much of Comoros in uh, this uh, World Cup sort of one star series. So interesting to see if Comoros can knock out Serbia. Can they do it? No, they're in the final, but it was a 3-2 victory. So Comoros did keep it close for Serbia, but they're in the final nonetheless um, against Vanuatu. Of all people, the, the, the islands of Vanuatu, or island, or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I didn't even know Vanuatu actually existed until I played FIFA World Cup games, so... Who says playing video games uh, melts your brain? I learn stuff from uh, countries and stuff like that. Okay, can Serbia beat Vanuatu in the final? I think they probably can. You pretty much put your money on it, wouldn't you? Okay, let's do this. Um, Vanuatu for Serbia. And Serbia have lifted, lifted the one-star World Cup. A 2-0 victory against Vanuatu. So let's have a look and see. Okay, there we go. We've got some Serbians in there. Dustin Tadic, uh, top goal scorer. Best player as well. And Stojkovic, is that how you say it? Um, best goalkeeper. So well done to Serbia. You have not slipped up, just like England have. Let's just have a look at the table quickly, the tournament tree even. So we all know Serbia's bit. 3-0 against Liechtenstein, 2-0 against Grenada, 3-0, uh, no, 3-2 against Comoros and then winning in the final 2-0. Let's have a look at the games around them. Uh, Grenada beat Hong Kong 1-0. Uh, Comoros beat uh, STP 5 4 on pens. Uh, St. Vincent beat St. Lucia 2 1. But then Comoros beat them 2 0. And then Comoros went on to lose in the semi finals. Um, but then Comoros lost third place playoff to Faroe Islands. So the Faroe Islands have come third, Comoros fourth. On the right hand side, you've got India beating San Marino 3 0. Uh, Faroe Islands beating uh, Gambia 2 1. Uh, Bangladesh beating Luxembourg 4-3 in pens and Vanuatu beating Malta 1-0 and then Vanuatu went on to beat uh, Bangladesh 2-1 and Faroe Islands beat India 2-1 and then the Faroe Islands just narrowly lost against Vanuatu 3-2 um, which knocked out the Faroe Islands and but then that put them in the uh, third place playoff which won. And Vanuatu lost, so not all bad for the Pharaohs. So that was Serbia's one-star World Cup. Who should we go for next in the World Cup? Um, try and suggest nations that have qualified. Maybe we could go for Croatia, since, you know, we got the Serbian-Croatia uh, rivalry, perhaps. Or maybe we could go for Poland. Or should we go to Africa for Egypt or Senegal? Or shall we go back to uh, South America for Uruguay? Or shall we do the big boys, Germany, France? Um, we've already done England. Um, not really a big boy, let's, let's be honest. <laughs> but it's up to you. The most upvoted comment, or if I don't see an upvoted comment, I'll just make my own decision. Um, there's literally less than 30 days until the actual World Cup. I can't wait. You've got the FIFA tournament coming up soon as well. And hopefully... Quest for the World Cup if the DLC is done correctly, like I, how I want it to be. But anyway, um, this has been Toga Loco. Uh, like the video if you liked. Subscribe if you're new here with notifications on. Uh, keep it loco, and I'll see you again for the next video.